Well, first of all, we, we had a good meeting um, today, um, obviously uh, reflecting on the current situation, uh, on the legal obligations that he has uh, under the New Decade New Approach Agreement. Uh, but also, you know, I made it clear that the Irish government's position is that we, we don't believe an election at this time uh, is, um, is a good thing for Northern Ireland um, in the context of the pressures that families and households are facing now uh, and also um, in the context of the, the reality that we had an election only a number of months ago um, that we would like to see result in a, in a functioning executive and assembly. Um, so we discussed um, options and views on a way forward. Uh, no decisions have been finalised yet. Uh, but I don't think we're going to have to wait um, for very long before, uh, before decisions are made in relation to the way forward uh, and the, the choices that the British government ultimately has to make, because uh, there really are only two options here. Um, there is a legal obligation to set a date for an election, or else there will need to be new legislation uh, to, uh, to avoid an election at this time. Um, and uh, you know, there will be ongoing discussions between myself and the Secretary of State in the coming days in the context of those choices. Minister, two issues. Based on the government's position, uh, is it your preference that the British government will change legislation so there's no election? And um, are you leaving Belfast today with the clarity you keep seeking about what happens next? And secondly, did you discuss the report of Lawless Paramilitary threats? And if so, how did you say Okay. A lot of questions there. Let me just go through them one by one, if that's okay. Um, first of all, no decisions have been made yet, um, and so we don't, have, uh, we don't have clarity on a way forward as of yet. But certainly we're not going to have to wait weeks for that clarity, and both of us agreed that. Um, um, uh, the Irish Government preference, and certainly my preference for some time, has been uh, that an election at this time uh, is unhelpful uh, in the context of uh, the, uh, the pressures that, that many households and businesses face across Northern Ireland, just as they do south of the border. Um, a winter election in the middle of all of that uh, is not what the parties want, having spoken to them, and it certainly isn't what people in Northern Ireland are asking for either. Um, so for us, um, we think that an election would be unnecessary and, and unhelpful at this time. Um, that's, that's been the Irish Government view for, for some time. Um, but, you know, these are difficult choices for the British Government and for the Secretary of State because, uh, because of his obligations under NDNA. Um, in terms of the, uh, the security situation, yeah, we did have a discussion on that. Um, can I just say that, you know, the Irish Government and Irish Government Ministers have obligations under the Good Friday Agreement to be part of discussions here in Belfast uh, on... Uh, on um, how the institutions of the Good Friday Agreement are protected, sustained and supported. Uh, and we take those obligations seriously and that's why you're likely to see me regularly here uh, meeting my counterpart um, uh, and um, trying to fulfil the obligation and the responsibilities that I have uh, and that the Irish Government has in that regard. And we are not going to be intimidated uh, by people who do, do not reflect um, the vast majority uh, of people's opinion here in Northern Ireland who want to see the British and Irish governments working together for stability, for certainty, for peace, and to ensure that the institutions that were set up nearly 25 years ago can deliver for people in Northern Ireland. That's what this is about. Um, uh, and as I say, uh, small numbers uh, of people with hardline thinking making threatening statements are not going to put us off. Tracy?